Good morning! Today on the morning announcements, we'll take a look at the recently installed speed bumps. And uh, what else might we have today, Lynn? Well, we'll announce the prizes to be won in our fabulous trivia contest, and we'll bring you up to date on all the events and meetings that are going to go around and on around in school today. Roy? I'll have the athletic and intramural announcements, the latest BHS sporting results, and a few announcements about the team and club meetings. Okay, so it sounds like we have a busy day, and of course we'll always have those special regular features like the lunch menu, the weather, and the ever-popular trivia contest of champions. So stay tuned for the morning announcements coming up just seconds from now. Telemedia Broadcast Center. It's the morning announcements with your hosts, John Rennie, Lindy Lawton, and sports commentator Roy Matthew. Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 17th. It's day four, and it's time again for the morning announcements. Gracious good morning, Lindy. Gracious good morning, John. Gracious good morning to you, Roy. Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> oh, Roy, you're so predictable. <laughs> well... How are we today, group? Well, I'm just fine. You look well, and, and Roy? <laughs> I think I can make it through the day. I hope so. It would be awful for you to have to be taken home in the middle of things. We have all kinds of things coming up on today's show, as you probably know. And, uh, well, we'd like to tell you about the editorial time. So, Lindy? Well, we have time, as everyone knows, well knows by now, at the very end of each morning announcement segment, to, for people to... Just come on and tell us what they feel about certain issues that are going on around school. And we haven't been having too many people taking advantage of this, and it's really a good opportunity. So I was just going to mention it again in case anybody wants to take heed. <laughs> okay. And you know what else we have coming up in the very near future? What's that? The roving announcements. Oh, that's Those right. Those popular announcements. Yes. Who knows where we'll show up next? Right. Close kept secret. Keep watching. You never know where we'll come up next. Well... Speaking of never knowing what's going to come up next, Lindy, what's in the wonderful world of unpredictable weather today? Well, weather today is, wait just a minute here, temperatures are going to be in the 40s with 0% chance precipitation today. It's going to be a beautiful day with winds out of the northeast 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow, the weather's going to be a ditto of today. It is now 46 degrees outside of our E-Wing studio. Those of you who have been coming into school of late have probably noticed that, uh, driving into the school parking lot is this little extra bit of turbulence. That's not just bad driving. The school authorities have placed along the way to the school speed bumps. What, you may ask, are speed bumps and what do they mean to you? Well, we have this special remote coming up for you now to explain the entire situation. So let's see some of that right now. Very, very interesting. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes with all the rest of the announcements, with sporting news from Roy, plus the ever-popular trivia contest, and all kinds of other things coming right after this word from our sponsors. some fascinating announcements. Oh, we have all kinds of fascinating things coming up today, I must say. Just well, announcements quite a galore. bit here. Yes, there's quite so a bit. So we'll get on to those because most of them are extremely interesting. And speaking of interesting, <laughs> Roy, how are things in the interesting world of sports today? Well, uh, the fall sporting season is rolling to an end, but it's sort of the highlight of the year, I think, with the um, November 25th Thanksgiving Day game against Concord Carlisle. That's right, that ought to be a yeah. good one. Oh, really. I guess we can't all wait, and I'm sure you may have some details about that today. Who knows what's going to come up? So, let's have some sports, right? Okay, well, uh, I already said this was the highlight of the season and probably highlight of the year, so uh, to set the mood, let's have a little mood music. All right, attention, all cross-country and downhill skiers. Tomorrow after school, there will be an important meeting of the ski team in room A2. If you're not sure whether you are interested in this organization or whether you are qualified for competitive skiing, 
plan on attending this meeting for more information. The team is open to all high school students, and of course, girls are especially needed. Previous experience in cross-country skiing is not essential to join. And uh, with this um, November 25th game, have you know that Lindy is going to be one of the cheerleaders, and I'll be in the marching band, so it should be one of these really exciting games. I can believe that. Thank you very much, Roy. Well, okay. with all of these announcements, we may as well just roll right into those. Well, we right? better, okay. Okay. Here is a projection of a news event of the future. Dateline, May 1977. Screaming, shouting thousands of frantic students today descended on the BHS English office in a last-minute desperate attempt to obtain copies of the 1977 missile, the yearbook of Bedford High School. Long lines of hopeful recipients formed throughout Upper A-Wing, obstructing traffic, while from the cafeteria there come reports of widespread looting and rioting. Unfortunately, many of these students must be turned away empty-handed, for the editors of the yearbook have printed only enough copies to fill their paid orders. If these students had only signed up for their copies in November and paid the low $4 deposit, they too might have had yearbooks, so cherished by all who owned them. Help avert catastrophe. Order your missile today. Okay, what do you do with an empty cereal box? You can't recycle it, so you throw it away, right? Well, in that case, please take off the box top and bring it to the student office. Why? Because if BHS can help the Krebs School in Lexington collect 5,000 box tops, the people at Post Cereals will donate new playground equipment to the school. The Krebs, a private school for children with learning handicaps, badly needs this equipment and has asked the assistance of Bedford High School students and their families help in acquiring it. So why not make the little effort it takes to remove the box top from the box and help a very worthwhile cause. Box tops will be collected at BHS through Thanksgiving and may be turned in to the student office or they may be given to any member of the National Honor Society. Your cooperation will be most appreciated. And now it's time for the College Report. On Tuesday, November 23rd, representatives of the following colleges will be in the counseling office to meet with interested students. Central New England College, Worcester, Massachusetts, University of Vermont, Montpelier, Vermont, Syracuse University, Syracuse, New York, and the University of Massachusetts, Dorchester, Massachusetts. Students should sign up in the counseling office and obtain passes if necessary. And seniors who are considering a technical or trade-related career or some form of engineering should investigate the Senior Skills Program being offered for seniors only second semester at Shawshine Valley Vocational Technical School. Specialties such as data processing, drafting, chemistry lab, diesel equipment, culinary arts, carpentry and automo automotive repair are among 15 possible laboratory areas from which students may choose. Applications are currently being accepted from all schools in the Shawshine District, so students are encouraged to see their counselors as soon as possible. Okay, if after all that information you're still undecided about schools, colleges, and careers, maybe the new GIS computer terminal can help. GIS is the new Guidance Information Service Terminal located in the counseling office. The terminal is a direct link to a computerized file of information on colleges and careers. Your counselor can help you get started so that the computer can tell you what schools and careers seem to meet your needs. So see your counselor soon for an appointment to use the GIS. If any of the following informational folders are seen in the school, please return them to the counseling office. Engineering, gunsmith, lens grinding, magnesium industry, oceanography, and religious work. Okay, and we'll be back in just a minute more with all kinds of information, more announcements, the lunch menu, updates, who knows what's coming up, plus the trivia contest of champions. So stay tuned for more of the morning announcements after this word from our sponsors.